Hey guys, what's going on? Daryl Addison at torpedopoint.com. Daryl Addison. And I've already harvested three pounds of lettuce. I've got to go back and cut them down a second time. I'm going to harvest probably over three pounds now, the same amount of planters. So you can walk with me. These are self growing planters, they grow your plants for you with no human intervention. They've been growing this lettuce now for a while and uh and they look fantastic so now i've got to harvest them if i don't harvest them they'll turn color yellow and everything else so what i'm going to do is harvest them and then i'm going to clean them once i get them in the house so this is the type of lettuce that we're getting from this planter isn't that beautiful natural healthy lettuce and it constantly grows and grows and grows depending upon what region you're in over and over and over again Absolutely delicious. Butter crunch lettuce. So, I'm cutting it down to that. Some of them are overgrown and it's long overdue. And so that's what your brother's gonna do right now. He's gonna start cutting this down. I'll go back and I'll wash them off Get them cleaned up. Very fleshy, very much alive. This uh, cutting is overdue. It should have been done like about a week ago, but I haven't had time, but it's great because that's what torpedo pot does. It allows your plants to stay in an environment where you don't have to like, take them out and just put them in the refrigerator. You let them stay in the environment and you let them grow and do their thing. And so now I've got to go. I'm going to clean them off, wash them off, get them to where I want them to be at. Okay, it's one pot. <laughs> Don't worry, this will grow over and over and over again. Unlike uh, hydroponic lettuce, these uh, these plants are in a really nutritious, healthy environment. I don't want to crush them down too much. Lettuce does not really do well in hot, hot climates, hot environments, and uh, so it's good that we're cutting these off. These are in the sunlight. Well, this is this is just beautiful. I, I, if you don't mind, I'm going to take this off and let you see how gorgeous these plants are. Well, maybe I can disconnect it. Oh, my, we have it. I'll just bring it over. This is the lettuce that I'm getting from these planters. Isn't that amazing? Look how healthy that is. Look how beautiful that lettuce is. That's real food. Real, real food. 
and it looks great. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna wash these off. But we got so much more to pick. Let me go through this. Like a locomotive, I just run through them real quickly. I hope I don't need to waste them. Right Wow, this is a lot of lettuce, guys. I'm gonna leave the chops open. I don't want them to uh, build up a lot of moisture. We use a lot of moisture, you get bacteria, you don't wanna do that. Leave them open to your freezer or uh, to your refrigerator or whatever you're gonna do. To use them. Like I said, I normally let them just sit in this planter, but right now they've gotten to a point where they're right. I have to. Uh, I have to cut them, back, cut them back in order for them to continue to grow. This is my second cutting. And so these plants have been growing in this torpedo pot with no human intervention. It's been growing by itself, which I, I love so much. Because I don't have time to come out and attend to these plants and take care of them. I simply don't have time. But in return, by growing them in a torpedo pot, you get real healthy food. And that is amazing. That's worth every bit of it. Every bit of it. Man, it's a lot of lettuce. So the first harvest was three pounds of lettuce. I want to see what this is going to do. So last time we got about four bags, five, four bags of lettuce. I think we'll be getting four plus bags this time.
What a chore. What a chore. Alrighty now. It's quite a harvest. One, two, three, four, five. Five bags of lettuce growing in a torpedo pot. We've already picked three pounds. I can assure you, this is well over five pounds. Uh, we bought 40 plants. We paid $12 to maybe about 12 to $11 for 40 plants. Put them in here. We've already picked three pounds, plus what we have now, which I'm gonna weigh and I'll show you in the video. But this is an awful lot of lettuce. And it's organic lettuce growing from a torpedo pot. All of this lettuce grew from those small planters that you're looking at. And they keep coming back and growing and growing and growing based upon the type of vegetation you have and the season that you're growing in. I've never seen anything like this before in my life. I love the way this looks. It's so healthy. This can go right from the table, right in the refrigerator. Now, I normally don't store it in my refrigerator. The reason why uh, I've got so much lettuce is because I haven't been eating them like I should. I grew more than I needed. And so I have all of this food. You try to buy um, hydroponic lettuce in a store and it's an arm and a leg. And it doesn't have the nutritional value that you have when you're growing in the soil. That's why you torpedo pot grows your food for you. It allows you to build that biotic environment so you can have healthy organic food many, 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 many days, many, many days. You cannot eat all this lettuce, but you can invite all your friends over and you can eat it all and then wait a month and then have your lettuce grow right back. Darrell Addison at torpedopot.com. Darrell Addison, torpedopot.com. Where Torpedo Pot grows your food with no human intervention. All you do is put your plants in, put your seeds in, you can set it. And for these right here, I fertilize these with a 312-12, maybe, uh, maybe once, might possibly twice, and about, uh, about three, one, two, three, about four, four and a half months and they continue to grow. Now, as it, as it gets hot, um, those that are exposed to the direct sunlight are not going to do very well because that is like a nice cool place. But again, these are my cool season crops growing in the torpedo pot. These are my crops that grew during the first time of the year, okay? During my springtime. And so I was able to produce this much food in the springtime, and that's what I want you to do. Torpedo pot grows your food 365 days out of the year <coughs> you no longer have to grow food only during the summertime stop that concept these planters are designed to grow your food year-round hence the lettuce three pounds so far and i can assure you it's a lot here i'm going to weigh this and i'm going to give you guys an update thank you for your time and you have a wonderful day bye-bye